statically typed languages. I think we can fairly agree that statically typed languages just won. They're just like objectively better than dynamically typed languages. Like even freaking JavaScript developers can uh, agree on, on that by creating TypeScript. Even Python developers agree on that for creating MyPy. Like all of these toy languages, they're all trying to bring in static typing because it's just objectively superior. It's just fucking objectively. Everyone already agreed on that. Like, and it's not about even TypeScript. It's about the approach, right? It's just objectively better. There's no point in arguing about that. And if anyone argues about that in 2024, laugh at them. Freaking laugh at their face. Straight up. Anyways, um, this is a pretty big refactor in compiler carrying a whole string. Exactly, right. So um, this is why statically typed languages are just objectively superior than dynamically typed languages because I cannot imagine how would you do something like that in a dynamically typed language unless you have some sort of a very smart IDE but in that regard IDE is just fixing a broken stupid language right it's just like I mean statically typed compiled languages are just objectively better they are serious languages for serious software development because this is the kind of refactoring you're doing in a serious software development I had to implement stuff in Groovy for Jenkins, and it was a nightmare. I can understand that. I can actually see that. Uh, I worked with dynamic languages. It's, it's always fucking nightmare, um, especially if you need to do big refactoring. So you still kind of can do this style of refactoring in dynamic languages, but you need to force the execution to go through all of the paths where you need to do the refactoring. And that is much more difficult than if you just had a statically compiled language that is kind of checking all of the execution paths for you automatically um right 